Yo, what is going on, man? We back with another video. Oh my God, man. We got some beautiful ladies on here. Hey, she in the red Kool-Aid. Okay. We got Sia back in the building you know, with the curls, the curls popping. This title is crazy, man. We got Do Flamingo, the heavenly demon. What kind of video is that, bro? But go ahead, introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you at. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Baby Sia, also known as Princess Sienna, the big one, not the little one. My Instagram is princess.sienna with the X, not a C. My TikTok and my YouTube is Baby Sia Live. Don't forget to follow, subscribe to your girl. What's good? It's Monkey Red. You can find me on all platforms at S M O K I I R E D D. That's two R's to be. I'm an artist and a content creator. Hey, y'all. It's Sue. I'm back. Um, y'all can follow me on TikTok at underscore underscore S U underscore 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 S U underscore underscore. It's a lot of underscores. How many underscores <laughs> is it? Hey, hey we, we got to see about that. I'm going to have to help you with that. No, no. Hey, y'all. My name is D. So if you ever in Houston, come and book with me for your hair. My Instagram is E E underscore underscore M underscore E. I got a lot of underscores too. But my YouTube on with two E's. See, hey, I got to get an underscore so I can be part of the team. No cap. You know y'all <laughs> underscore team out here. We got okay. Oh my god. Okay. Look, for the occasion. No cow. Hey. Summer vibes. Oh, just yeah. one spin around. Just one spin around like your ballerina. Okay. Oh, okay. Just pointing like, hey, okay. It's a okay. onesie. Onesie, okay. Doing it. Okay. Fruit punch. Okay. That's what we all call her. There we go. Now you get started. Body's eating. You feel me? Yes. Yeah, there we go. That's what we talking about. She said we're going to do it again. Okay. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time. Let's go. For the most anticipated, yet riskiest trial of all time. Yeah, I ain't even okay. going to lie to y'all. I'm playing press your luck with this one. But fuck it. We do this for the people. So let's go and go ahead and get it started. Come and get at a whopping 10 feet tall. Hey. No exaggeration. And with so many crimes committed, I can't even name them all right now. The heavenly demon, Don Quixote do Flamingo. So y'all already know how this goes. The evidence is on deck, ready to be presented. So go ahead, grab some popcorn or something to snack on. Hey, Cause without further ado, exhibit A. <laughs> Don Quixote do Flamingo. I'm surprised y'all ain't got no drink or no popcorn or nothing. I'm surprised. Yeah. Oh, okay, as soon as I said that, <laughs> I already knew it. I already knew it. Okay, okay, my bad, my bad. One of the seven warlords of the sea and the king of Dressrosa. His name is feared throughout all the seas, and his drip is unmatched. I got it, But how did the heavenly demon become one of the biggest kingpins in the world? Well, we have to go back a good 33 years in the past. Okay. Now, Do Flamingo was a celestial dragon. Now, if you don't know what a celestial dragon is, allow me to explain. These are the world nobles, AKA the biggest dickheads in the fucking world. Ooh. Brother, ugh. And I mean, come on, bro. They ain't even hiding it. Look at them. They literally have dicks on their heads. They're what? dickheads. Look at that. This fucking ain't alfalfa no ass, jack, jack ass shit on their head. <laughs> now, Saint Homing, Do Flamingo's father, decided one day, everybody, I have an announcement to make. I would like to go live with the peasants. Oh. Blasphemy. Now, this is a very big deal because the Don Quixote family are world nobles living in the holy land of Marie Joie, basically mother Beverly Hills. And Do Flamingo's okay. dad decided, I want to go live with the regular niggas, because why not? And this is some of the Beverly stupidest Hills. shit you could possibly do because everybody hates celestial dragons because they enslave people. They're assholes. They don't even consider themselves human because they are the top of society. So the whole family ends up leaving and giving up their celestial dragon status. And obviously Lil Duffy wasn't fucking with it. Bro was already complaining. Okay. Lil nigga was like, Daddy, where are the slaves? And why do I have on this peasant clothing? Oh, calm down, son. Oh, We're no. gonna be living a simple, peaceful <laughs> life now. Some 
Bullshit. Now, beat, it's bro. very clear that Doflamingo's dad doesn't have an ounce of evil in his body, like the other celestial dragons. He's a simple man, but an ignorant one, and he was about to get hit with a reality check. So the next day, him and Dofi walk into town. So his dad walks up to the vendor and says, I want to buy some apples. So the vendor's like, oh, tally home, brother. You must be new here. But this dumb ass nigga ends up saying, oh, yes, me and my family are from Marie Wall. You what? So everybody shook. They like, what the fuck? If you from Marie Wall, you a celestial dragon, ain't you? Oh, okay. And this dumb ass nigga is like, oh, oh, no, no, no. We, we used to be celestials. But we're human now. And then it didn't help that Doflamingo just started going off on everybody, calling everybody peasants and shit. So they was cooked. Because later that night, they burned down their damn house. They is trying to kill these niggas. They on some Salem witch trials type shit. Find the Celestials and burn them. So they end up running for their life for days. Because okay. a dumbass daddy was so fucking ignorant, thinking that a Celestial dragon could live with regular people. And this man Doflamingo was shook. As a kid, this man went from the top of the world to the fucking gutter. Him and his brother got beat for trying to steal bread because they had no money. Why people just Bro, laughing what? at him? Look at this bad. They beat him, they bad. Why are they beating children? Yeah, they don't care. They up there sipping. She had to take a sip for that, you know? <laughs> Boy, I, you would have thought that was a black daddy at first. You know what I'm saying? The way he getting beat. Nah. <laughs> Bitch and a nigga with a panda head. I'd be damned if I see a nigga with a panda head laughing at me. Like, look at little bro. This is terrible. Dang. And they mama end up getting sick. And she end up dying. So mm. at this point, Doflamingo rightfully so hates his dad. As he should. This nigga's an idiot. You broke, you stink, and now your wife dead. It can't get no worse, right? Wrong. The people end up finding them. And I don't even know if I could say this word on YouTube, so I'm just going to bleep it. They them these people start going off on them i what? kid you not bro right here said hang that nigga now i got the rope right here <laughs> and they just going off on them because they are celestial dragons they hate them it don't matter if doflamingo's dad is different you're still a celestial dragon to them the people who treat commoners like garbage so at this point this was the breaking point for dofi everybody just stops and just looks at him they could feel this little nigga's anger from down there then bro just started talking like a rabbit dog and then it happened the man unlocked his conqueror's hockey and this little nigga knocked every single person out with his aura now you see here's the thing with this i'm not counting this as a charge this is an act of self-defense they hung his ass hung his daddy ass and his brother so even though this man broadcasted that he got murder on his mind he getting let off the hook with this one so after that life-altering incident dofi goes to this run-down ass shack and ends up meeting this nasty ass snot-nosed hunchback fat motherfucker oh my god i hate this nasty ass nigga treble so this nasty okay. sob says hey, so i heard you knocked out all those people with your hockey now me and my boys will start glazing you if you pass my test so okay. treble gives him a gun and the ito ito no me and this man doflamingo did not waste no time he had murder on his mind he okay. went back to his dad and said fuck you old nigga and blew his brains out murdered his, his own father in cold blood right in front of his brother and this right here is a good old case of patricide murdering your own father so after mm. doflamingo murdered his father he actually brought his head back to marie wall to try to what? get his status back but they said hell not leave peasant so his own dad <laughs> well he did kind of ruin their lives yeah, but kill them is to take the dead head and be like, "Here you go, this a trophy right here." The killing was a bit extreme to punish your father, but I mean. Yeah, dang. You know? <laughs> well, he ends up going back to Treble, and him, Diamante, Pika, and Virgo said, hmm, let's glaze this little nigga to the ends of the earth. And from that day, the Don Quixote family was born, and they was not playing no games. These four niggas would do anything for Dofi. Take, for example, one day, Treble finds Dofi beat up. So he asks him, oh, my glorious king, what happened? Ah, oh, man, some guys roughed me up. I wish they were dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These dudes find the dudes that jumped them. 
and Trouble comes up to him and says, You're the guys who roughed up Dorothy, right? <laughs> that little runt. We were just teasing him, that's all. Oh, oh shit! Hey, bro, we was just teasing him, I swear! Shut up! They was not playing games with nobody. If Dofi wanted you dead, guess what? You're dying. If he wanted your turf, guess what? Get the packing. This man took racketeering to another level as a 10 year old at that. And this was the wildest one. Diamante finds bro and says, Oh my glorious king, what happened to your knee? Ah oh, man, I just tripped on a crack in the road. Oh, and where's this crack exactly? And I kid you not, this nigga Diamante finds the crack in the road and says, fuck it. I might as well level the whole town. So that's what they did. They blew up the whole town. And from that day forward, the Don Quixote family oh, yeah. was feared. Niggas cleared the streets when they saw Dofi walking. Hide your kids, hide your wife, ain't nobody safe. <laughs> the Dofi tribe. Hey, thugs out Exhibit here. a wrap up. Yeah. Patricide. Racketeering, mass destruction, multiple counts of murder. Exhibit, exhibit B. B. Y'all righty, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B, Joker. We now fast forward 30 years later, and at this point in time, Doflamingo is the most influential underworld well, broker in the game, and he is also one of the seven warlords of the sea. And before he became a warlord and they froze his bounty, this man had a whopping bounty of 340 million berries. <laughs> now imagine if the nigga wasn't a warlord. God knows how high hey, that shit would be. Let's go ahead, he, let's go ahead and roll up the pack right now. 340 million? What you gonna do? He would have been dead yesterday. Thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 340 million. But anyways, we now focus our attention to Mock Town and specifically Bellamy. Now, as we know, before this even happened, Bellamy fought Luffy and got absolutely embarrassed. One shot it to be precise. It looks like Bellamy and his crewmate, who I ain't gonna lie, I forgot his name. I think his name is like Sarquisa or Sharkisha or some shit. I don't Sharkisha? know. But it looks like they're fighting each other and having a falling out. <laughs> but that is not the case at all. Because you see this nigga Dolphy sitting in the corner, controlling them with his string string fruit. And this man is pissed off for obvious reasons. Because this nigga Bellamy is trash. He got one shot by a human condom. And it was under Doflamingo's banner. The Bellamy pirates were under him. So obviously that is a hit to his reputation. So Dolphy said, fuck it, you useless piece of shit. And controls old boy like a puppet and slices him. <laughs> had this man Bellamy begging for his life. And what makes this kind of sad? Let me give y'all a flashback real quick. Back when Bellamy was a straight young bull, bro used to look up to Doflamingo. He wanted to be just like him. I don't know why bro is a terrible influence. It must've been the drip of the ore or some shit, but Doflamingo was his inspiration. But when they first met, Doflamingo clearly stated, if you ever lose under my flag, my Jolly Roger, I'm gonna beat your ass and make you unemployed. And well, oh. the rest is history you but of course bellamy's board. still begging like B -b please j -j 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 just give me one more chance my glorious king but dofi looked at him like bellamy how much you think my fit costs uh, 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 two dollars it looks like you got a thousand? Thousand. 56 million berries broke ass what? nigga yes. i wouldn't spend ten dollars on that uh, so this man Dofi got up, walked away, and said, My fit costs more than your whole bounty. And I have absolutely no use for broke ass niggas. And slices this nigga! Ooh. Bro just assaulted his most notorious glazer Ooh, while firing him at the outfit? same time. Well, ain't that a hell of a way to get fired on your day off? But we really don't even get to see a glimpse of how strong this dude is until the Summit Ward, aka the grand opening for the greatest donut shop of all time, Crispy Aces. So before the war even started, you already knew bro was on timing. I mean, look at this bloodthirsty ass nigga, bro hitting the Uzi tongue. <laughs> <laughs> but the first victim of this man's bloodlust was none other than like Lil Lord's no. big ugly no. ass boy. So Lil Lord's is just stomping no, on weird. niggas, trying to make his way to save El Donut. But this big boy ends up getting jumped in brutal, ends up getting jumped in brutal fashion too. So it started off with Kuma, which I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was about to roast the shit out this man, but I just caught up on the manga. And after reading that backstory, I, I don't wanna roast you, bro. So even though you <laughs> built like an egg with some damn chicken legs, you uh -huh. off the hook, my nigga. So anyways, <laughs> Kuma shocks the shit out this nigga, had this man or spazzing. 
and this man was so cooked. But he said, hell no. I'm at least taking out somebody with me. So he ends up aiming for Dofi. And bro just looked at it like, really, nigga? So bro ends up destroying the whole wall. But Brody ain't hit shit. Because you see this the flying thinking he's crazy. <laughs> Then he talking shit to him in the air too. What's wrong, pussy? The donut man is right there. And you knew Ors was cooked because Dofi made this man see his backstory. That's how you know your screen time over. So Dofi Mingo amputated, bro. Cut that big ass leg clean off. And he just laughing his ass off and saying, this is what you get for being a dripless Neanderthal. And then Gecko Moria's hog back, bowling pin built ass. Hit him with that Bowling pin. And it was raps. Them boys oh. murdered Lil Ors. Oh, but yeah. Dolph Lamigo yeah, was yeah. not done racking up these murder charges. So later on, Viking Humpty Dumpty ends up pulling up and saying, Dolph Flamingo, fuck you in that feathered ass coat, nigga. So bro runs at him and tries to swing at him, but he stops. And Dofi just started talking shit, saying, What's wrong, water buffalo? Are you too mesmerized from all my sauce? And y'all already know what he did. He hit bro with his strings. He wasn't moving an inch. So all these other dudes end up running up. And yeah, a massacre was about to ensue. Bro right here runs up. He gets his balls chopped off. And Dofi just started puppeteering this man and making him kill his own men. And this was just tragic, but also despicable. You made this man kill his own men. That's fucked up, bro. And while bro is massacring these dudes, this man gives off one of the greatest speeches I've ever heard and everything he said in this speech is 100% facts. Okay. Now, obviously, I can't play the audio, but I'm going to text it out for us. We're going to do a quick English project real quick, so here we go. Pirates are evil. The Marines are righteous? <laughs> These terms have always changed throughout the course of history. Kids who have never seen peace and kids who have never seen war have different values. <laughs> Those who stand at the top determine what's wrong and what's right. <laughs> okay. This very place is a neutral ground. Justice will prevail, you say? Of course it will. Whoever wins the war becomes justice. <laughs> This motherfucker was cooking. Even though he's pure evil, he is actually speaking legitimate facts and you can't deny it. So after this, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Duffy just basically had a drip off of a crocodile for the rest of the war. So I'm just translate this whole conversation for you. Oh, hell no. Gator boy, my nigga. I got a proposition for you. You got drip, I got drip. You gets money, okay. I gets money. So what you say? Tag team? Man, fuck you, you pink feather flamboyant feminine ass nigga. Oh, nah, <laughs> shut the fuck up with that thick ass gold claw. I know you got that shit from Timo. Fuck you. And fuck got you a, too. You like tobacco team loving, team chain smoking son of a bitch. <laughs> Now, most of this fight sadly happened off screen, but hey, only Oda know how long this sauce off went on for. So fast forward all the way to the end of the war and you just see explosions in the background. And the reason why is because Doflamingo was jumping this 60% body fat eggplant because he basically had an assassination order from somebody up high. But Moria somehow lived. I, I don't know how, but it don't matter, nigga. That's still attempted murder. Now. It's time to move three years, years. later. And at okay. this time, Doflamingo's criminal enterprise is thriving. This stops. nigga is anime El Chapo. And I mean, this man did everything from arms dealing and gun <laughs> running to massive drug labs. One in Punk Hazard and one in Dress Rosa producing smile fruits for Kaido and had none other than Caesar Clown cooking that shit up. And I kid you not, these smile fruits was niggas up for example take a look at wano smile fruits hit wano like crack in the 80s this man is solely responsible for supplying these niggas to cause a drug epidemic look how this shit hit neighborhoods in wano bro they thought these hoes was just regular apples hell no nah. these hoes was laced and everybody was eating them even the kids and they lost all emotions except for smile and laughter they basically ate joker venom yeah hell no nah. the Don Quixote family needs to change their name to the Don Quixote cartel expeditiously. So now we end up catching up with Dofi mm. at one of his Dofi well, parties. Do because good, you know what they say? There ain't a party like a Dofi party. And he gets a call from <laughs> Punk Hazard saying, Have the Diddy oh, Beans. Stop playing. Oh, and G5 is fucking with our product. Operations have halted. So this man took extreme measures and basically said, Motherfucker, you think that's my problem? I got bitches here. Oh my God, Dofi, come in the water. <laughs> Hold on, ladies. The party's just getting started. Okay. Motherfucker, blow up the <laughs> island. I'll send somebody to pick up Caesar's bitch ass later. Now, sadly, Flamingo's plan to blow up the lab okay. failed miserably <laughs> because of Caesar's dumbass. So this man was so pissed off, he said, fuck it. Niggas can't get shit done. So I'm going to do it myself. So okay. this man web-slinged all the way to Punk Hazard. So later on, 
while G5 basically has the island under control. This man, Dofi, flies in saucy as fuck and just hits a superhero landing. And everybody in G5 is stunned. They like, oh my God, that drip. The aura is Doflamingo. And look I'm at this 10 foot terrible. nigga towering over these midgets. <laughs> nigga, fuck being a drug lord. Go to the league. And Dofi ain't waste no time. Bro said, the beat go off? Hey. Hey, I'm my knee go off? <laughs> This man knocked out damn near every single soldier with Conqueror's hockey. Didn't even lay a hand on him. Just hit him with the sauce. But he wasn't done. He ends up webbing up all the other Marines' guns and made them oh, all aim shit. at each other. And this oh, man elegantly okay. made them all shoot each other. This nigga's storytelling skills are immaculate. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bro just murdered I don't know how many people, but he did it in the sauciest way possible. So then this one Marine is begging for his life. He like, please, I have a family. <laughs> Nigga, fuck your family. They should be ashamed of your broke ass. I know Dang. you don't get no paper. I know your bitch be fucking other niggas behind your back. You fucking cock. So what got so bad, Ooh. Smoker had to intervene. But my God, this man got washed. Look at his sorry ass. He can't even land a hit. Okay, this is why you're not making that for buddy. Look at him, bro, trying to punch him in the dick. Duffy looked at him like, whoa, slow down there, you freaky fuck. And this is how you know this man's smoker is washed. <laughs> this man already breathing heavy as hell, and they only been fighting for 30 seconds. But then some of Smoker's men end up Bruh, coming and try to bail him out. But bro tried to be chivalrous and save him, but ends up getting met with razor sharp strings and ends up getting flung. And after Smoker got really? cooked, <laughs> Dopey just got real disrespectful. He sat on bro, grabbed his face like your mama about to beat your ass, and was about to kill him. But Smoker ended up getting the bail out of the century. Because Al Kiji pulled up and said, Said, All right, big dog, we gonna have to stop. And you see, Doflamingo was a smart man because he knows he can't win this fight. You think he's gonna fight a formal admiral and get embarrassed? Hell nah. Bro said, I'll take my leave. I got bigger <laughs> fish to fry. And that fish, of course, <laughs> is law in the straw hats. Okay. And especially law because these niggas got generational beef. The, the Dofi trial. Exhibit B wrap up. Assault and battery. Murder, mass murder, arms trafficking, drug manufacturing, possession, and trafficking. Exhibit C. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for Exhibit C, Corazon. So there is a reason why Law has mad beef with Dofi. And it all started 16 years ago. Now, when Law first came to Doflamingo, he was very sick. He had white lead disease and his whole family is dead because the world government decided to murder everybody in that town because they all had that disease. So they okay. raccoon city that bitch. Now, Law didn't have that much time left to live, but Dofi kept him around and said, there's a chance that you might be able to live if you get this devil fruit called the op-op fruit because you'll be able to heal yourself. Also, the fruit's busted. So Law ended up sticking around with him doing some piracy robbing some banks and of course catching bodies and dofi's main objective was basically to groom law to become his right hand man now here's where okay. everything goes to shit corazon aka doflamingo's brother rosinante basically told him hey little nigga you got d in your name and if dofi figures out you got d in your name he gonna kill your little ass. Because if you got oh. the big D in your name, you are a mortal enemy of the Celestial Dragons. Oh. And also, Corazon is a narc. Hey, I'm a rat. I ain't no snitch. He is a undercover Marine trying to <laughs> take down his evil brother. So, so yeah, you can uh, kind of see what this is. These two are basically opposites and the what ifs of a tragic outcome. Doflamingo wants to burn the fucking world because fuck everybody. And Corazon wants to do good in the world and basically stop his brother because he's a crazy bastard. So Corazon ends up taking law around for like six months trying to find a cure for his disease and getting him away from Dofi. Now, while this was going on, Dofi called them and said, come back to the ship. We got a lead on the op-op fruit and we can cure Law's disease. Now with this in mind, Corazon decided, let's just go steal it so we can cure your disease and go into hiding. So Corazon gets the information from the Navy to where the fruit actually is. So okay. later on, they end up getting to the yeah. island and Corazon ends up stealing the fruit, but at the expense of getting shot the fuck up. 
So after oh. bro got shot up, but somehow survived, he made go, Law go, eat go, the go. fruit. And after that, he told him, this is some important intel I need you to give to the Navy that's on this island right now. So while Law went to go search for a Marine to give the note to, he found one, but the wrong one. Because the Marine he gave it to was Virgo. Dofi's undercover oh. agent in the Marines. So Law brought Virgo all the way back to Corazon, and Virgo was like, what the fuck, Corazon? Oh, you narc ass nigga. <laughs> and Virgo ended up reading the intel and kicks his face in. Oh. And Virgo did not hold back. He beat the shit out of Corazon. And oh, then after man. that, he beat Law's ass. So then after they get their ass beat, Dofi arrives on the island, and this man is dripped out of his mind and pissed, cause his own brother was a rat. And Doflamingo mm. knew something was off too, because those six months that Corazon was gone, the Navy was off they ass. And every time Corazon was there, the Navy was there. So it was all over for his little bro. Dofi ends up setting up his birdcage over the island so nobody can leave. And he just went on a rampage until he found his brother, killing literally anybody and everybody that was in his way. So later on, when the family finally finds Corazon, they jump the hell out of this man, beat the rat piss out of him, and play baseball with his body. Hold on. And this was just horrible. Is, this man Gladius went to his body and said, How dare you betray the like, family, man. you rat ass nigga. Like so after they jumped him, Doflamingo <laughs> came up to him they and said, Cuzzo, my him. baby brother, a fucking narc. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. Cuzzo, you know how hard it is to kill your own flesh and blood again. And my God, it, it pains me to do it. But do me a favor, baby brother. And say a load of pops for me. <laughs> this he told him to say hello to his pops. Damn. That was low. <laughs> I thought he was going to say say hello to Pop Smoke at first. I don't know why that was in my head that he was going to say that. But that was <laughs> that was crazy though. That was insane. This man that was a little blow, girl. dumped Yo. about 10 bullets in this nigga and mm. murdered his own little brother in cold mm. blood. The, the Dofi, Dofi trial. trial. Exhibit C wrap up. Piracy. Grand larceny. Murder. Mass murder. Fratricide. Exhibit B. Y'all ready, ladies and gentlemen? It's it is now time for Exhibit B, shit. the usurpation nice. of Dress Rosa. <laughs> now, Doflamingo, as we know, is the king of Dress Rosa. But how did he become king? Yeah, <laughs> you might need to sit back for this one. So, 10 years before the present, Dress Rosa was a very peaceful nation that knew no types of war and had a honest king named King Riku. Now, the people okay. loved King Riku. They'd glaze this man to the end of the earth. But sadly, this would change in a single night. So, on that tragic night, Doflamingo flew to the king's private quarters. So, he pulled up, woke this nigga up, and said, Don't even try calling for help, or I will slit your fucking throat right now. Dang. So, Dofi basically explained to the king that this land, matter of fact, this whole country belongs to me. And I finally come back to take back what's rightfully mine. So, the thing is that the Don Quixote family used to rule over Dress Rosa about a good 800 years ago. Till they abandoned it and became celestial dragons. And now Dofi is back to claim what's his. Now okay. he gave the king a ultimatum. He basically told him, we can either A, I will take over this entire kingdom and kill everybody, or B, you can buy my kingdom for 10 billion berries. So what's it gonna be, y'all nigga? Genocide or run your pockets? So obviously the king had no choice. He had to run his pockets, but he ain't have enough money. So for the sake of the kingdom, he had to send out his soldiers and beg the people for money. And obviously the people are confused. They like, fucking Riku, we just no paid our taxes million? a month ago. <laughs> yeah, man, this is some bullshit. I can't even pay my child support. I just got pregnant the other day. How am I supposed to take care of my child? So King Riku had to get on the big screen, support? get on all fours and said, please, we're broke. All fours, bro. It looked like he about to diddy him. It looked like he about to diddy him. 
<laughs> no cap, bro. You better not. You better get up, man. He said all fours. He ain't say his knees. He said all fours, dog. No, That's it's tough. shit. Y'all just pay taxes, but fuck. We need this goddamn money. So the people said, you know what? Something must be wrong. Our glorious king needs help. So every single citizen they had emptied every dime they had oh, because man. they trusted their king because he ain't ever done them wrong. So everything seems to be fine. They paid off Doflamingo and they should be scot free, right? Psych! He about to kill them anyway. You see this <laughs> man king three or four they coming got? at them on a horse. So obviously the soldiers think, ah, King Riku, we got the money. You didn't have to come all the way out here. But this man, King Riku is crying and saying, run away. I beg your pardon. What? And the king starts slaying people and blowing shit up. And you already know what's going on in the shadows. Doflamingo Flamingo is controlling this man and making him kill his people. So Dofi didn't tell the king, but there was an option C, and that was to do both genocide and run your pockets. And the king wasn't the only one getting controlled. Dofi decided to control the soldiers as well. So he didn't give him the C. He just gave him the answer with A and B, and then he got their money anyway and still killed them. Oh, he's fucked up. Can't trust him. Saw that coming. I saw that, that, that coming. That's ruthless. That's ruthless. It made them slaughter everybody. And they didn't spare nobody. Look at this. This is a mama and her Not son. And Not this nigga kid. said, pay your taxes. Oh, Look at this poor couple. Can't this can't brother just got done baking at the bakery with all this cake. Just for this man King Riku to come and blow <laughs> both their backs out. Oh. And this went on for the whole night. Now here's the part that's gonna make you sick. Do Flamingo and his crew are just up here watching this. And when the time was right, he said, All right, boys, it's showtime. These niggas pop down and knock out these soldiers, getting everybody's attention. And Do Flamingo says, Greetings, everyone. My name is Don Quixote Do Flamingo, and I've come to save you. I knew it. Oh, this nigga is a manipulator. <laughs> now this is a straight oh Homelander God. ass move. Bro made yeah. the king and his guards kill their own people just to come in and save the day. And this was the mm. tragic part. He controlled the king and said, come on over. Make sure you look good for the camera. So bro jumps down and smacks the shit out this nigga on oh, live man. TV in front of everybody. And just off of that, this man just committed the greatest PR stunt of all time. Because oh the people god. are like, oh, oh my god, he, he, he they saved feel us. Like he yeah, hell yeah, brother. And they chanted this man's name throughout the night while hoisting the king's body in the air like a trophy. And that night, Doflamingo usurped the throne and became the king of Dressrosa. Now, after Doflamingo became king, he started to do some even more evil shit. For an example, using sugar to turn damn near half the population into toys and making their families forget about them, forced these Tantata low niggas to basically be slaves and work in his drug lab, oh, had some of the old soldiers become gladiators and forced them to basically kill each other. And apparently oh. he did something with Viola. I don't even know if this is true, but a lot of people say it is. So uh, I'm just leave this here. Freaky ass nigga, he the 69 oh god. god. Freaky ass nigga, he the 69 god. The, the Dofi, Dofi trial. Uh, Exhibit D wrap up. Blackmail. Genocide. Usurption. Brainwashing. Slavery. Slavery. Exhibit B. E. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for our final exhibit. Exhibit E. The Heavenly Demon. We now set our okay. sights on an island called Green Bit, just off the coast of Dress Rosa. And we are observing a trade, well, what was supposed to be a trade, between Law and Doflamingo. Now, Law took Caesar as hostage after Punk Hazard to get some leverage on Doflamingo and make him leave the Warlords so he would lose his Navy immunity. And also, Dofi needs Caesar to make some more of his smile product. But tragically for Law, this plan failed miserably because Doflamingo was two steps ahead. Because this 
This man used his celestial dragon leverage on the government and falsified a whole story about how he left the warlords when in reality he didn't. And he had this man Law shook. He ain't know what the fuck to do. His whole plan blew up in his face. So Law was like, ah, shit. Well, I'm just skedaddle. So this man Law got me. running while Doflamingo was hawking his ass down. And it didn't help that Fuji Taurus ass was here trying to drop meteors on the nigga. And this man Law was fighting for his life in this jungle. Look at Dofi come behind him. Nigga finger sniped him. Brought this man Law to his knees. Then he came down and told him, I, that, that, you ain't going nowhere, little nigga. I've been waiting to kill your ass for 13 motherfucking years. And look at Dofi, bro. This nigga think he's Spider-Man. Out here just weapon shifts and throwing it at him. And I don't even know how long long this game of tag lasted for because we know how that dress rosa pacing was good god but anyways bro they ended up getting to the beach and while Duffy's chasing law he ends up hearing a loud ass scream and it was from the sunny from chopper nami and brooke being loud as shit and Duffy just looked over there with a big old smile on his face like oh law you dumb fucked up now so this man flew over to the ship posted up on him and Duffy was ready to make the sunny the titanic but out of nowhere here comes final form simp sanji out here yelling at this man like stay away from my nummy swan like dog Aye. come on she not gonna let you hit but anyways Duffy did not take this fight me. seriously at all look at him he got this big ass grin on his face then this man threw out his attack backflip for style points and told him well hello there buddy let's not burn the coat this shit costs more than your life <laughs> bro had this man sanji cooked in one hit but sanji started thinking to himself while he was free falling oh if i beat doflamingo Nami Swan might let me hit. So this man Sanji got a second win and started He's trying to kick the life out of this man. Me. But Dofi just put out his hand and said, time out. Bro had this man Sanji just uh -huh. stuck in the air and bro just looked at him and told him, the fuck I just told you about fucking up my coat. I already told your ass this shit costs more than your life. So this man charged up his overheat and he was ready to That's kill disgusting. Sanji. But right when Dofi nice. was about to hit him, here come Law with the boom. And he ended up teleporting <laughs> Dofi away from Sanji. And you could tell this man Dofi had the to kill this man because he had to throw the attack out and it landed all the way back in dress rosa and just cut a building in half yeah buddy that's attempted murder you tried to put this simp six feet under so this man law had to take this miniature big back big mom as a hostage so the straw has could escape but later on they end up having a standoff on this bridge and i kid y'all not this was not a fight this was a sheep coming to the slaughter. I mean, look at this man, Law. He running for his life again. Pop Doflamingo's just cutting the bridge in half and yelling at him like, what's wrong, pussy? I thought you was gonna spin back for Korra, but you still a bitch. But Law at least tried something. He tried to throw all the debris at him, but Dofi just cut it to pieces. Then Law tries to come behind him, but Dofi hits a perfect parry, dodges the attack, then shatters this man's jaw with his foot, and the beating just got worse from here. This was like a parent whooping their kid's ass for being disobedient as hell. I mean, look at this. He came down and kicked the shit out of him again, then just started spamming bullet strings at him. Even took out his legs. Bro was literally rolling around and screaming in pain. And this wasn't even the worst part. Though Flamingo walked up to him, lifted up his hand, and he slapped this nigga across Dress Rosa. And oh god, this was probably this man's most savage moment in the whole series. Law is already cooked, but Don Flamingo decided, remember when you had lead poisoning, Law? Let's see if you remember how that felt. And he started dumping bullets of lead in him. And look at his freaky ass nigga out here licking the blood. <laughs> Hell no. Was and Law was done. He should have been dead. <laughs> okay. The amount of plot yeah, armor Law had in this arc is ridiculous because this is not the first time bro should have died as we will see later so now we fast forward a fat minute all the way till sugar got knocked out and all the toys turn into people like again and the whole population turns on do flamingo because they realize wait a minute this nigga's an asshole he turned half the population yeah. into toys brainwashed us and committed a coup d'etat get this nigga out of here so then the one-legged demon kiros came in and cut off this man's head and everybody's in shock everybody uh -oh. like oh my god Dofi just died to a side character? Psych! Niggas thought it was going to be that easy. Yeah, this man can use string clone jutsu. So he got behind Kiros and kicked the roof off of the- Okay, so he brought his head back? How is that even possible? His head was all the way off. Wait a minute. It might have been his strings.
It should have been dead right. He should have been dead right there, right? Ballas. Good Damn. God, this man got some strong ass legs with them fucking leg hairs he got. So then here <laughs> come Luffy trying to be a hero, even though he's a terrorist. Out here trying to hit that man with that Jet Gatlin. But the clone right, came Luffy, behind him. Blue is back it. out. Then Dolphy looked at him, cocked back his fist, and told him, Get the fuck off oh, my dude. property, broke ass nigga. <laughs> hit Luffy so hard, <laughs> probably made him even I'm more stupid in the head. head. So he made dude. Pika throw everybody off the cliff. And at this point, it was over for everybody. And just rose up. This man set up the birdcage, got on the big screen, and said, People of Dress Rosa, I'm just gonna go ahead and let y'all know this now. I have fucking hated all you stinky ass peasants ever since I came to this fucking island. So now all you broke ass niggas can go fuck yourselves. So let's play a game. If you kill any of these bitch ass niggas on this board, especially that long nosed Pinocchio nappy headed ass fuck. I will make you rich. What do you say fuck me for? Oh, and you also have 24 hours before I can <laughs> 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 So this man, Dofi, sent the island into chaos. This man started another genocide just because he got pissed off. So now it was finally time for the Malice at the Palace One Piece Edition. Law and Luffy versus Doflamingo. Oh, I forgot, and Bellamy's here. Bruh. Bro was emotionally what? abusing this man the entire arc. We all know that Bellamy's this man's biggest glazer. So Doffy decided to use this man as a puppet. Look at Luffy, Bro tried to kick him, and Doffy just used Bellamy's face as a human oh. shield. He was straight up abusing this nigga. Then look at him, out. he put Bro on some strings and said, dance nigga, go fuck up that walking condom for me. But Law and Luffy was just mad at Doffy for just watching him in that chair. So they hit that man with that Red Hawk team up. And Luffy really punched the shit out this oh. man. This is the first time you see bro actually hurt. Bro Thanks. mad as hell thinking in his head like, Motherfucker, I know I just didn't get hit by this nigga in them broke ass sandals. So that man Doffy said, hell nah, you ain't getting away from me, buddy. So bro started spamming them bullet strings at Luffy. Send his stupid ass flying again. Then he decided to stab the shit out of Law. Bro said, sit your bitch ass down before I beat the shit out you again, boy. Then he hit this man Luffy with a nasty combo. Bro launched him in the air, grabbed him with his strings, then yanked him all the way back to Bellamy, who he was controlling, and sliced him. Oh my Dang. goodness. These boys was really getting cooked by a man with a flamingo coat and some short ass capris. So Doffy kicked Luffy's face in again, oh. separating him and Law and making Luffy fight Bellamy. And my rainbow. god, Law. This man took probably the worst beating in the series right Damn here. Nah. Just look at this. Doffy ended up grabbing Law, then makes them both somersault, crashing into the ground, and amputated this nigga Law's arm. Another case where Law should be dead in this arc. But this next part is really when Law should have been fucking dead. Dofi walks up to him, puts the gun up to him, and tells him, die like the broke ass nigga you are. Then just started shooting this man over and over and over and over again. He shot so many bullets in him, he kept on pulling the trigger thinking he had some more. And again, this is another instance of where Law should have died in this arc. Nigga cheated death three times just for him to get up and hit Dofi with a Okay, but Dofi right. Mingo cheated death too. And Law Yo, really thought he was him right time. here. He was talking crazy he to Doflamingo Flamingo and saying, yeah, this might get back for core, nigga. So he hits Doki with a counter shot, basically with all the power he has left. And Law think he done killed him. But no, this man rose from the dead like the Undertaker. And you want to know how this man survived that attack? He stitched his organs together with his strength. Nigga gave himself surgery mid-fight. So Doflamingo is standing over Law, about to smash this man's head in and get a fatality. But here come Luffy bailing out Law. Nigga, how, how many times is Law gonna get bailed out this fucking arc? Like, dog, you should be dead. This nigga Law gotta be a cat or some shit, because he gotta have like he nine lives or something. So here comes that Nika Luffy himself. Bro kicked off them dusty, busted, okay. broke-ass sandals and shoes. transformed into this fat-ass balloon. So obviously when Doflamingo first saw Gear 4, he was laughing his ass off. Blue I was like, what the you fuck is this? Am I supposed balloon. to be scared of you, nigga? <laughs> you turned into a balloon. But Luffy was done playing games. He punched the living shit out of Dofi. This man flew all the way down to the streets. And I ain't gonna lie, Dofi started getting dog walked. This man ain't felt so much pain since he was getting beat as a child. So this man, Doflamingo, went to his last resort. He said, fuck it. I'm already destroying the country, so I might as well turn everything into strength. So he ends up using his awakening and just throwing buildings of just strings at him but luffy still did not care he flew over to this man and hit him with that leo bazooka and dofi went to flying and just pinned in the mountain this fight should have been over right here but nope 
The plot Luffy. kicked in. Because Luffy ran out of time on Get Forth. The man literally <laughs> deflated right before he was about to finish him. And this gave Dofi enough time to recover. And this man was more pissed off than ever. He went on a rampage looking for this man Luffy. Bro started killing everybody. It got to the point where if you got in this man's way, you died. Then he started moving the birdcage in closer. He was about to wipe the whole island off the map. So then here come Viola trying to do Ooh. something against this 69 god. And I'm not even going to waste no time on this. Y'all already know what happened. She got beat the fuck up. I don't even oh, know why she dang. tried this. Like, like shorty, no. Shit. You out here getting your oh, head smashed in. And then look at this, bro. He started hanging her by the string. Oh, no, nigga. Dang. My nigga, this is harassment. Nah, buddy. You're done. You're done after this. We know you did it. The allegations had to be true, especially okay. after this scene. You was not like us, buddy. This image is staying exactly like it is. And then you tried to make Rebecca kill her dog. Nah, this man Doflamingo is pure evil. This man is a sick ass nigga. So thank God yeah, Luffy see. finally came over and he said, hell nah, your ass is going to jail. So he charged up that King Kong gun and yelled at that nigga, take your freaky ass to impale down and blasted this man Dofi through the earth's crust. And it was over. Animate Diddy was finally defeated. Anime Diddy. So after this, they <laughs> locked this man up in the depths of Impel Down. And this man should never get out again. But let's be honest with ourselves. Don't Sometime sooner out. or later, this nigga's getting out. Somebody gonna make the call to Jayoma. Yeah. Diddy probably and get him that, out. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, with all these <laughs> damn charges, this is why this man is on this round table. Flash. There should be no discussion. This is one sick ass nigga. So yeah, uh, the fake Hold on, how many times did you decide on there? should have been on there. Now, I don't know what might happen to this, so uh, <laughs> Hey, fingers crossed. Uh, like the video for good luck, I guess. Hey, and hopefully we make it through. But anyways, man, hope y'all enjoy. And until then, I'm out this house. We did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Almost over, literally. But, okay, we got to ask, what do y'all think about that video, though? That man was crazy. He was crazy. He was. <laughs> I, I I knew just by looking from his pants, he was a little zesty. Zesty guy, man. So you said, hey, his favorite, if he had a favorite person, it would be Diddy, right? Yeah. You know, if he had somebody, all right. But, God dang, I would be hurt just to get beat by somebody that wear a clothes that can get, you know, found at Rainbow. You feel me? I got that from the women's section. Like you know those, what I'm saying? Young hey. women. Finally, he towards was the end, they put him in some real G stuff. And that was that prison outfit. <laughs> That's the only basketball outfit he can wear. What you was going to say, lovely? I said he was dressed a little zesty. <laughs> Especially the feather coat. <laughs> you feather know he's shopping in the women's section. I'm surprised. Was them red bottoms he had on? You know what I'm saying? They just didn't show the red bottom part. You feel me? Red bottoms. He had on the fur coat with the gauchos. He was here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hell nah this was a good video though i was just pre i was just so intrigued you know what i'm saying at parts and you know how you'll just be into a, mo a movie or something so good that you don't even got any talk that you just want to be just zoom into it. and that's just how i was on that seeing that for the first time heck we'll react to this again if 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 y'all hit the likes and y'all subscribe and, and, and go to their Instagram, their TikToks and everything and show love. I promise I'll bring them back again. But this time they're going to talk a lot more. You know what I'm saying? We was just in zoomed in to see what happened, though. You feel me? This was like a movie. Feel like we just got some. Tickets about to go a good That's why I got my food. Because like watch him was making me hungry. You feel Dang, me? AMC theater out here. You know what I'm saying? Like the tickets. But this will probably be rated R though, man. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> the fucking memes are taking me out, especially all the boondocks references. I was like, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. I didn't forget the bowling pin head either. You know what I'm saying? And the whole thing. You had the bowling pin head. You had so many things, but the fact that he killed his dad and he and so killed his mama, brother. Your mama died. And then later you you kill your dad, and then later you kill your brother. He's great. Shit, family be a bit later sometimes. I mean, hey, 
the, the, your the, own people. The brother snitched. <laughs> basically, the brother snitched. Yeah. That was what happened. Um, so yeah. yeah, that was crazy. I ain't gonna cap, man. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't played that shit. He ain't played at all. You got anything to say, Smokey Red? No, I was just more so a listener. Okay, she a listener, good listener right here. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, she, she, dive into her inbox because she will listen to you or she will look at your inbox, all right? <laughs> so go ahead, dive in there right now, man. Dive in there like Dofi did in this video. No cap, man. Hit that like, hit that <laughs> sub. I'm going to leave their links in. Thank y'all guys so much for coming. Hit that like and sub. We out. Gang.